Hello everyone! On a daily basis, you guys send me a lot of questions and often it's the same question over and over again by different people. So a few days ago, I asked you to send me your most important, most burning questions, questions that you really want to know the answer of. So you sent me quite a few hundreds and I've selected a few ones that seem important, I guess, and I'm going to try to answer the maximum amount of your questions. And if I missed one of yours and you really want to know the answer of it, ask it in comments of this video and I'll cover them during my next AMA slash FAQ video, probably in early 2020. So let's go to the questions. Now, the first one was asked by Calvin, who asked, What's your favorite disability if you had to pick? That's an interesting question. I thought about it for a while and I think I would choose deafness because on one hand, I really love listening to music, but there are so many annoying noises, noises that, you know, are grating or just break your concentration or um, that, you know, I think deafness would be the one with the most pros. And uh, even if it has, even if it has some big cons, uh, I think it also would have a bunch of advantages. So that's my answer. The next one is asked by Ashley, who asked, what's my favorite outfit? And it's the one I'm wearing right now, actually, dress shirt jeans and sneakers. I call it the Jerry Seinfeld and it's in my opinion the best compromise between style and comfort and uh, those two things are really important to me but you know I would never sacrifice comfort just for the sake of aesthetics but it's it's nice when you can compromise. Um, next question is just how cute are your rats. How, how cute are, are my rats? I've got one specimen here, actually. Um, that's Jaguar. And, uh, yeah, I would give him a, probably a 9 out of 10. Rats are great pets. That is all. That's not a question, but I agree with you. Uh, there's a question by Jake who says, I know you're a drummer, reply to this comment with a picture of your setup and tell us what gear you use, how long you've been playing and what you like to play and listen to. So since this was asked, I posted a couple drumming videos uh, that were made in a rehearsal studio. I do not own any drums at the moment and uh, I used to, but uh, it was quite a while ago when I lived on the countryside in the big city. It's a little more difficult, uh, but I'm considering buying like electronic drums because the electronic drums of nowadays are really good and also the prices have significantly dropped uh, during the past 10 years. And that's the answer for setup and gear. And I have been playing for how long? almost 20 years. What uh, do I like to play and listen to? So much shit, you know, it can be jazz, can be metal, it can be... <sighs> I'm just gonna say etc. Why did you make the change from Exploding Fish? That's a question that I really answered a bunch of times, but I keep getting it, so I'm putting it in the FAQ. There were many reasons. First, the page was not supposed to be called Exploding Fish, but Exploding Knees. And I fucked up for a few reasons. Uh, exploding Knees is an obscure meme from 4chan from about 10 years ago that I really love. And Exploding Fish is something that I choose uh, basically at random because I was playing Candy Crush and that was this... Uh, exploding fish bonus in the uh, game but uh, it was something that was you know supposed to be temporary right from the start I did not uh, I did not want to keep that name for a long time first there's a lot of meme and comedy pages that are called something fish like I am fish leg fish etc there's a there's a fuck ton of them 
and um, also there's some businesses called Exploding Fish, like this, there is this theater company from I think the USA, etc, etc. It was not really an original name and it was not really a good and fitting name and I wanted something that, you know, could uh, work for everything that I do, not just the Facebook page uh, thing, but also other stuff that I've, that I've you know, uh, spend more time into that is really important for me and that I've been doing for many, many years, uh, many years before I started the page started, like my, my, my videos, if you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, I do a lot of videos, you know that, my music, do a lot of music, and everything else, my, my graphic design work, my, uh, um, what else, my gaming let's plays, my, uh, uh, my my podcast, uh, talk show, earload thing, etc. I needed a name that was original and that really represented uh, what I am and where I come from. So at first I was thinking visually, I started drawing the 4chan logo on a piece of paper because I really love 4chan and that's where I come from in terms of internet. It's kind of like, you know, my home town site home site and uh, I learned a lot there so I started drawing the 4chan logo uh, you know the four leaves and then I was thinking about tumblr because tumblr also has been really really important uh, to me to it's where I discovered shit posting there's a lot of great memes that are on there and there's a this really nice dynamic um, so I, I, you know, I drew a, a tumbler glass and when I saw the, the 4chan logo, because I'm not super good at drawing, kind of looked like mint leaves and in the glass it made me think about mojito, you know, so that's also maybe not my favorite cocktail, but probably the one I've uh, drunk the most and also I'm very good at making it every time it, every time it's summer I, I make mojitos it's kind of my signature uh, dr drink when I have you know uh, fellas that come to, to my house uh, to watch a movie or play video games you know uh, some having some quality bro time I often make mojitos during the summer and it just you know it a whole it really fit and also there's chad because virgin mojito is a mojito with an alcohol so virgin and chad meme i mean everything pieced together really nicely really neatly and it's a name that i can use for everything it's not already trademarked or registered contrary to uh exploding fish or some other stuff that i've been using in the past so Basically, very happy with it, been using it for two years now, and I don't intend to change it, at least not in the foreseeable future. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's really neat, it really fits, and uh, does kind of like the, the icing on the cake that is my brown, I suppose. Well, 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 next question is, you ever try that cheese with maggots in it? No, and I'm not sure I will. It's kind of tempting, but I, I I don't think I uh, will eat that one day. Next question is, how many rats do I have? Uh, right now, I have 31, but that's too much in my opinion, so I'm trying to sell or give or exchange, barter, uh, as, as many of them as possible. I um, I hope uh, I will be able to go under 20 soon. Next question is how many male and female? So right now I have 18, no, 19 males and 12 females. Uh, do I feed them special stuff or normal one? Um, I feed them rat food uh, I buy in, uh, on Amazon or in pet stores. I'm not sure what the special stuff or the normal one is supposed to be. 
do I give them names or nicknames? Uh, I give them nicknames sometimes. For example, Lamarck. Uh, I often call him uh, Marky Mark. I, I use their normal names most of the time. What brand rats do I use? <laughs> asking you for a friend. Uh, so, somebody's asking more rats! I'm working right now on a big compilation of rat videos and you know throughout the years I've done a lot of rat videos but also there's a lot of footage that I never got to use for some reasons so I'm making a big big compilation of unused rat footage he's gonna uh, he's gonna hit YouTube pretty soon like I don't want to I don't want to give a date but probably during the month of November and I'll upload it on Facebook as well, I suppose. Um, Alex asks, number one, how dare you? <laughs> uh, Pete asks, what's with the E? <laughs> Kevin asks, what is my workout routine? So, um, at the moment, and that's what I've been doing for a really long time, I do basically strong lifts 5x5, five five, plus a bunch of bodybuilding isolation stuff. I don't really want to be a power lifter, but I really I don't really want to be a bodybuilder either. I'm doing something that some people call power building, that is kind of in between, and basically I do the compound lifts at... Uh, very high weight, as close uh, to my uh, one RM uh, as possible, and I do the isolation stuff like bicep curls and stuff like this uh, with light weights and a lot of reps. And um, so far, it's been working really well for me. So, next question by Nathan: Can I ask anything? No. Oh, you can't. What does your day look like? Uh, well, I don't really have a difficult day. Uh, I'm very bad at organization and uh, scheduling and all that. But generally, I wake up around 11. Um, then I try to motivate myself to get out of bed. It can take a few hours and uh, then I go to the gym and work out on, on most days uh, and then I come back home take care of my rats uh, you know clean their cage if they need to have their cage cleaned give them water and some food and sometimes some treats and if some of them look like antsy or stuff like this like get him out of the cage, spend some time with them, and after that, uh, work, 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 either graphic design or videos or music or whatever, and uh, after that, usually you just go to bed, and uh, if I have a lot of free time, which I haven't had really lately, um, I play some video games, um, but yeah, that's basically my day. I don't like to spend a lot of time at once on social media, whether it's Facebook, Tumblr, or Reddit, or whatever else. So usually I go five minutes, and then I do something else, and then five minutes, and then I do something else, you know, etc. Um, when did I start to exercise and why? That's a good question. Um, I suppose this is in relation to the weightlifting that I'm doing at the moment. So I started in uh, late May or mid-May uh, and I started really going to the gym seriously in the beginning of June. Before that I just did stuff at home with a couple dumbbells and uh, you know really basic stuff and I've been going there on average five days a week since early June and there are a few reasons. Uh, the first one was that I, I felt really weak and out of shape, and I, I really wanted to um, 
feel better, be fitter, have more energy, you know, all this stuff. So um, I started going and reason number two, it's extremely good for my arthritis. I've had arthritis since I was a teenager and now that I lift several times a week, it's basically gone, which is pretty awesome. Next question is by Joseph. How long before the rats overrun your home? Uh, they already have. It is completely overrun at the moment. Do you eat orange with or without the shell? <laughs> is your refrigerator running? No, my refrigerator isn't running because it doesn't have legs. Next is... Why should I care? I don't know. Should I care? I, I, I'm not sure I do. Um, next question is, why do you do it? Because I can. Uh, next. <laughs> Daryl asks, who is Daryl? <laughs> What is a rat? Uh, one of my favorite types of memes. My favorite types of memes. I don't know, I really, really love copy pastes. Like, really. And, um, that's, um, that's probably my, my favorite type of meme. Who's my favorite super villain? That's hard because I'm not really into um, comics and all that. I, Agent Smith from The Matrix, would he qualify as a super villain? Because in that case, I'm voting for him. And if he doesn't, then probably Lex Luthor from uh, Superman, I, I think. And, uh, next, uh, um, I, I think I've, uh, looked at all the comments and when you remove the joke ones and the ones that I'm not understanding, um, I think I have answered everything. So, I'm just shaking, but... Yeah, there's a lot of questions that are like, do eggs? <laughs> so like this. Um, so I um, think I'm gonna... Oh shit, I clicked the wrong thing. Um, yeah, I think I've, I think I've um, answered all the questions, so that was the big... FAQ of late 2019. I probably do another one in January or February. Uh, so if you have questions in the meantime, post them in the comments of this video and I'll, I'll come back uh, to, to look at them in early 2020. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope this was informative and uh, you got answers to stuff you were wondering. So, yeah, thanks for watching. See you really soon. Peace.